Okay, now let's do problem 1c from the 2.3 homework. We're given a function, x squared. We're approaching 4 on the x-axis, so that's where it's centered. It's centered at 4. We know the limit as x goes to 4 of x squared is equal to 16. And we're given an epsilon value of 0 0.001. So we know the value of a, we know the value of L, we know the value of epsilon. We have to be given these three things. Question, can we find delta that makes this all work, that makes the definition work? Again, how does this process work? You have to start with this part of the definition. You begin here. The absolute value of f of x minus L is less than epsilon. Then you take the appropriate steps necessary and hopefully arrive at the final step, the finish line. The absolute value of x minus a is less than delta. Once you find that delta, you know that that delta makes the definition work for the value of epsilon that you were given. That's the process. So we begin with the absolute value of f of x minus l is less than epsilon. In our case, substituting in the appropriate values, we get that the absolute value of x squared minus 16 is less than 0 0.001. Now we factor, and we get x minus 4 in the absolute value times x plus 4 in the absolute value is less than 0 0.001. Hey, things are looking pretty good because the finish line would be x minus 4 is less than some number. And lo and behold, here's an x minus 4. The problem is, is that we have to somehow get rid of the x plus 4 in the, uh, in the absolute value. How do we get rid of it? Well, the whole point is this. Remember, we're dealing with neighborhoods, so we're bounded. So it's not like we're shooting off to infinity. We're approaching a finite point. We're approaching 4 from the left and the right, okay? And because we're in this bounded delta neighborhood, that means that x plus 4 is bounded above by some constant. In other words, x plus 4 doesn't get any bigger than something, okay? We just have to figure out what that something is. So <clears throat> here's what we do. Because delta um, is the neighborhood that we're looking for, we can begin this process by arbitrarily choosing delta equals 1. I'm going to show you why this works. But we begin by arbitrarily choosing delta equals 1. I could choose delta equals 0.5 or 1 third or 1 fourth. We're going to start with 1 because 1 is easy. And I'm going to show you that by doing this arbitrary choice, we can actually figure out what the constant is. We can figure out that x plus 4, absolute value of x plus 4, doesn't get any bigger than a certain constant. So I choose delta equals 1, and I begin here. Absolute value of x minus 4, that's 4 is our a, is less than 1. This implies that negative 1 is less than x minus 4 is less than 1. Now I add 4 everywhere. 3 is less than x is less than 5. Now I add 4 everywhere. And there's a reason why I'm doing that. It's because I want to make it look like this, where my cursor is right now. So I add 4 everywhere, and I have 7 is less than x plus 4 is less than 9. Can you see what x plus 4 is bounded by? It's bounded above by the number 9. In other words, choosing delta equals 1 means that x plus 4 never gets up to 9, and it never gets any bigger than 9. It's bounded by 9. So in other words, what I can do now is I can replace the x plus 4 here with the constant that it's bounded by. So I can say the absolute value of x minus 4 times 9 is less than 0 0.001, and now divide both sides by 9. Absolute value of x minus 4 is less than 0 0.001 divided by 9. And now here's the beautiful thing. I arbitrarily chose delta equals 1, so I'm just going to take the smaller of the two numbers. Which one's smaller? Is it 1 or is it 0 0.001 divided by 9? Well, it's the second one. So my delta value that
that I choose is 1.1 repeating times 10 to the negative 4. In other words, as long as x minus 4 is smaller than this, then I'll be guaranteed that I land inside the epsilon neighborhood. So as long as absolute value of x minus 4 is less than 1.1 repeating times 10 to the negative 4, then I'm guaranteed that the absolute value of x squared minus 16 will be less than 0 0.001, my epsilon value. This is the value of delta that makes the definition work. And that's 1c worked out.